Hello everyone and welcome back to Brown Sugar. Today I'm going to be doing an update on the finger coma wigs, all of them that I have, just to see the condition of them and um, you know how it's holding up after a couple of years of having them. So um, let's get started with my makeup and then we're going to move into So guys, what I'm going to do now is braid my hair back because it's all out. So I'm going to braid it back, put on my eyelashes, and then try on the wigs. Guys, all of a sudden it got so hot, like extremely hot. So I have to take a little break and fan myself because I haven't done my hair yet, but I did manage to get the eyelashes on. As you can see it. So now just let me do my hair. I promise we will get everything else together. So I think I'm feeling. Okay, so let's get the hair then. Okay. Let's get the hair done. I just, I'm just gonna put three braids in it, okay? Three braids, cause it's going in a wig, so it doesn't really matter how many braids you put in there. Just put your hair, just manage to make your hair lay flat to do and guys I already um, braided the front of my hair like twisted it up last night so I didn't have to worry about that make sure you leave a little bit out so the units could look a little bit more natural um, I think I can make this one one big one here So, um, I had the units for about, I don't want to say like, some of them two years, and others like one, or one and a half years, almost two. I had them quite a while though, I would say that. And then I'm gonna put one more braid here. I told you it wasn't gonna take a long time to braid up my hair. Just braid it back, put on your stocking cap, and you'll be good to go. Okay guys, so make sure you have your little um, baby hair brush 
your booster because that's what you're going to use in the front of your hair and then some grease for your scalp and all of this should be done like overnight if you want to um you know do it correctly so um we have all of that now let me get the units and then we shall begin i put my hair up got the little two pieces and then we're good to go so let's start with the soft kinks unit and guys i just keep them in the original box that it come that it came in and um i just put it up in the closet and that's how i maintain mine um, so this is how the soft kinks unit is looking okay and remember this is the one that you could wear every day this is a soft kinks unit let's put it on We have a comb in the front, a comb in the back. I could link my previous videos for you. And it still looks good, look at it. I haven't even put it on all the way, but. Um, also, when I had buy my second pair of the Self Kinks unit, I wasn't really happy with it. But what I did was I um, took the parts the pieces of blocks and then I separated them so, so for instance if this one was like one big one because you're gonna see when you get the units is like one lock here one lock here one lock there but if you want it to be fuller just on like for instance this lock right here this lock just break it apart like that so you could make it as full as you want it so just break it apart like this so it could look fuller and more healthier rather than one lock over here and one lock over there I mean that really doesn't look good so let's go ahead and undo our front of our hair it should blend right in this um, unit is lightweight it's not heavy I mean it works really well for an everyday wig I heard that you could um, take the uh, units back to finger coma to get it recurled, but I think for now it's okay. So this is the unit. Do the next side. Take your little brush. Brush it out. I don't think I need any more of the boost control. I think it's enough on my hair. But yeah, this is it. This is it. So this is the finger comber soft kink suit. This is this one. Okay. And I told you in the other videos different ways you could style it. But I usually just wear it like this and then go to work or um wherever I need to go to, out to the market. Um, I could show you the back of it. This is the back. And like I said, just when you get your unit and it's too spaced out, just take one, break it apart. Take one, break it apart until you get the fullness that you want, okay? So this is look number one. Okay guys, so this is the Soft Kings. Like I told you, I'm going to take it off now. And we're going to get into the sister unit to the Soft Kings. So this is the Soft Kings HD unit. Okay? Here's the comb. They have a comb in the back and my two elastic uh, to the side to keep it tight. And this one has more definition to it. It's fuller, longer. And it's still lightweight. None of the wigs are heavy. None of the units are heavy, so you don't have to worry about that. This one is um, just more here. So stick it in there. Easy to put on. Easy to blend. Just depends on the look that you're going for. I had this one for a very long time too, as well. And this one, 
like I said, is the HD unit to the finger comber, and it is beautiful as well. Easy blend, you can see in the front, easy blend. Um, I don't know what to say, I love them all. I haven't purchased a unit from Finger Coma in a while because these are the original one that originals that I had before and it worked perfectly fine so no need to get a new one. Um, I did get two of the Finger uh, Coma Soft Kinks unit. The first one that I got I had to throw it away because it got kind of naughty but I kept the second pair that I bought. The second unit that I bought but this is the HD unit finger coma this is the front and this is the back okay so um it is a lot of hair but who's complaining <laughs> I'm not I like it because you could wear like you could wear it anywhere you could dress it up you could put it up in a ponytail okay guys you could just many different ways you could put it behind your ear look at it just keep one little piece out like right here yeah, look at that. make it yours move it all to the side oh. that's right make it yours but this is the HD unit okay tell me which one is your favorite Leave a comment and tell me which unit is your fa uh, favorite. Number one, number two, and then I'm going to try on one more. Okay? One more. So once again, I keep the unit in the original box. So just keep the box and put the unit when you're finished wearing it. Put it back in there. And just continue to do that to keep it well maintained so you don't have to spend a lot of money because I think that one of the this uh, wig is running for like $108,000 or like $98 so I'll link them in the description box so you can take a look at them so the last final wig let's try it on and it's going to be the kinky curl out unit okay and this one here is just longer okay less curls too as well so less curls longer still lightweight it's, 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 it's seemingly longer than the rest but this one here is just for special occasions you're not gonna wear it all the time well anyways that's how I choose to wear mine it's not every day one comb here one comb here to the elastic let's try it on stick it in less curls but more hair I mean less less curls and longer more hair and everything I mean if you really like big curls this is your guy this is going to be your guy right here if you like a lot of long luscious natural hair don't be afraid to make move the curls around, the locks around. Don't be afraid to put it to your liking. Okay. Also, you could always take a band and put it around your hair. So this is the front, guys. Look at that. Look how much hair that is. But I still like it, you know, when you're trying to make a statement. Put this baby on. And make your statement that's what you do put it on and do what you do dress up put on a nice little outfit put on your makeup and call it a day but all the different hair serves a different purpose for me okay so it's just different looks choose the one you like let me show you how long it comes down to so it comes down to right up on my chest area yes and then this is the back of the hair stick this pin in there this is the back of the hair okay, so that's what it comes down to as well 
I mean, who gonna tell us anything? We want it, we don't want money, so it's over here. So guys, this is the last and final one. This is the finger coma kinky curl out unit. Okay, the kinky curl out unit. So go ahead and leave me a comment. Tell me, do you like number one, number two, or number three? And if you do choose to get one, please link me in it. I want to see which one you got and how it looks. Um, until next time, guys, uh, stay blessed, stay loved, be kind. Uh, thank you guys for hanging with me. Thank you guys for liking and sharing the videos. Um, and if you're not liking the videos, please give it a thumbs up. Please. I really appreciate it. I thank you guys for subscribing and thank you for every for just coming and watch the videos. Thank you and don't forget to subscribe. So one more thing before I forget. I do not put any products in my units. I don't use any conditioner. I don't use anything in the unit itself. Just leave it alone and just put it back in its original container you should be fine that's all I have done and I have had it about two to three years when you come to when I come to think about it I, I have them I had them for a while so um, that's just my advice to you